Hey guys, Brian here from Liquid Concepts. So today we're gonna to talk a little bit about dividers. Why do you need dividers for the film itself? Had a couple of questions about that, so we figured we'd shoot a quick little video and show you guys why. And so if you haven't done any of the hydrographics before or you're just getting into it, you always wanna to try to contain the film as much as possible. And so the reason is that whenever you go to activate the film, the film will want to expand. And so if you don't have a good divider system, then you can overstretch that film before you actually dip your part down into the water. And so uh, definitely wanna make sure that you have some type of divider system set up. So then that way, whenever you go to actually dip your part, your film isn't already expanded out and it's way overstretched and things like that. And so uh, kind of show you a couple of quick little examples here on what is going to happen if you don't have a good divider system set up. So. I've already got some film. We've got some camouflage uh, uh, over here that we're going to be using. And so that way we can go ahead and grab that. We'll throw it on the water and show you guys what it's gonna look like with the dividers and without the dividers. So then that way you can clearly see you definitely need the divider. So here we go. So as you can clearly see, we've got our dividers uh, tightened up as much as possible with the grooves here in the long bar. And so we've got very minimal stretch that it's going to stretch out, which is uh, exactly what we want. So now we will go ahead, we'll get our part, we can get it ready to go and go ahead and dip it afterwards. So as you saw before, we have the exact same size film. And so from the first one, we contained everything in and we had all of our dividers as close as possible. And so as we were dipping, then of course you could clearly see that whenever we dipped, we didn't have any stretch hardly at all because the film didn't expand whenever it was activated. And so what you're gonna see here is, is that once we spray this activator on this film, this film will literally just start going out like crazy. And so um, it's really cool to see exactly how much this film can actually stretch. It's, it's quite amazing, I'm not gonna lie. As we're sitting here, and even if we had, say, a divider that we had like say this close and something like this right here and even something like that right there that's still way too much area for that to expand because of course this little 8 by 8 square is going to expand into this 18 inch by 18 inch or something like that so let's go ahead and grab our activator and show you guys what's going to happen So by the time that we have gone to get our part or whatever it is that we're going to be dipping, by the time we walk back over here, it's already stretched out to this entire area. And of course, as you can see here, it is completely distorted and it's continuing to just completely distort all the way around. Of course, this film is no longer usable and I've pretty much just lost everything on the dip and this is going to have to be a complete redo for laying the film down. So, so hopefully this video has really helped you out and as you can see, the dividers are definitely going to be a crucial element in getting a good um, coating as well as getting the proper uh, film to not expand before it stretches onto the part if it does need to stretch any at all. If you do have any questions or comments, definitely leave them below. We'd love to hear from you on anything hydrographics related, as well as let us know your thoughts on have you ever had this before or has this ever um, ruined one of your dips? Because inevitably, we're probably all going to go through that. It's going to happen. And so hopefully this video will help you out in help preventing it not to happen. 
Also, if you haven't already, definitely hit the subscribe button. We'd love to have you subscribe to all of our weekly tips and tricks videos on anything hydrographics related. Also, if you like the video, definitely give us a big thumbs up. Uh, we'd love to have that as well. I'm Brian from Liquid Concepts, and this is how we customize your world. We'll see you guys next time.